fiesta, amigo, for the death of those we don't know. Shall we kneel and say a prayer? They will never know we care. Shall we keep the fires burning? Shall we keep the flame alight? Should we try to remember what is wrong and what is right? No more tears, no more tears. If we live for a hundred years, amigos, no more tears. Sacrifice they made. Will the wickedness and sadness come to visit us again? Shall we dance the dance in sunlight? Shall we drink the wine of peace? Shall our cheers be of joy? Shall we keep at bay the beast? No more tears, no more tears. If we live for a hundred years, amigos, no more tears. Oh,
Cheers. Como estas, amigos? So, what was it that you liked about this idea? Well, that's probably has always been one of my, well, maybe my favorite song of the Virtual Eleven album. Because first of all, I like the title, which is in Spanish, and I like flamenco guitar, I like the Spanish language. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a totally different song than all the other Maiden songs, I think. I'm, I'm a fan of the progressive new Maiden anyway, so I'd like to hear something different. And I like acoustic guitar, half of the song is acoustic. So when we first started touring, I think it was at our f small UK tour acoustic, that's when we already started doing it, I believe. That must be three or four years ago now. Yeah, for me, it's a song that I never did live with Maiden. And yeah. it feels like something, almost like a little hole that's missing from my time with Iron Maiden, that I felt it was such a big song yeah. that on that tour of Virtual Eleven, that it would have been a huge song with all of the fans. Yeah, I think actually if you select the best songs of, of the Virtual Eleven album to play live, because you probably played like six of them live, this should be there. Yeah, I... For sure. For me, it's a very emotional song as well. Yeah. When I first went to Argentina, then it was on the promotional tour with Dave Murray and we were staying in a hotel near the Parliament Square and there was a war memorial and I asked the guy that was doing my security, Pepe, his name, I said, what is this memorial? And he said, it is for the soldiers that fell in the Falklands War, yeah. which in Argentina is the Malvinas. And I was moved by this thing because my mother had told me that one of my friends from school had died in this conflict and so to see this memorial and to feel that well the yeah. I was there and one of my friends had passed away what not had been killed in this conflict and then also the incredible hospitality and warmth and generosity of the Argentinian people, it made me think, well, how could there ever be a war like, yeah. between people that, you know, you both, you like music, you like this, how could there ever be a conflict over something? And one of the things that the memorial had, it had flames. Uh, which are constantly going, always alight. Oh, that's the, the flames. Shall we keep the fires burning? Yeah, and uh, and I I was so moved by this. I went to see and I read all the names on the on the memorial, and then when I got back to my hotel, on the note paper that they had in a the hotel, then I wrote uh, all of my thoughts, it, it, and it came out in a kind of a shape of a poem. Then, yeah, then when we were working on the virtual 11 and I was looking for lyrics and bits of ideas then I found this note paper I didn't ever think it would be a song but it was a kind of poem and I took it along to a writing session that I was doing with Yannick Gers and we kind of jammed through the idea and it just came to life yeah and then we showed Steve Harris the idea and said, well, what do you think? Do you think it's good enough for the album? And he made a couple of suggestions in the arrangements. And of course, he's just a master with these things. And that is the arrangement that, yeah. that came out and that went on the album. And for many years, it's been like, it was like a sleep really, I think. And as I've got further away from the album, I've, I've tried to bring it back a couple of times. And then on this Infinite Entanglement tour, then I did it every night, full metal in the yeah. set. And you and I have done it before on things that we've done. Yeah. And it is, um, it is a it's deep a song everybody asks for anyway. Yeah. So yeah. if you don't do it, yeah. Yeah, they it's, will a, ask it's for a deeply it. emotional song. Yeah. And in a weird way, 
it's another thing that we were talking about before where the connection now the voice that i have now i feel is so much stronger to tell the story than it was yeah. 20 years ago so when we came to do the recording i thought well yeah i really would like another opportunity to record a very good studio vocal yeah. with the voice and experience i have now recording that exactly yeah and um and for me it's just turned out great yeah i think it, i think it sounds really cool also i really like how it the not the solo but the part before and after the solo turned out it became like a kind of spanish flamenco choir yeah. because yeah we, you, you doubled the voice a couple of times. We yeah. have the violin and the guitar all playing the same melody. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, it's like world music choir. It's, it's really cool. And when you said to me, oh, I think there is a, a location, it's a church that we may be able to record oh, yeah. in. Then I thought, well, this will, will be great. And then when we were there, we kind of had the idea to, as part of the story of the video, to have the guy walking up to kind of almost as if it's the first time he's been in church it's almost since, kind of true so since the conflict <laughs> yes almost like the first time yeah. since a conflict and he's going to kind of accept what's happened and i it felt i, I really enjoyed making the video yeah. for this one plus uh i hope we could do a concert in that same church yeah um i was very happy we were allowed to use it actually it's funny because i, I live uh 10 or 15 minutes away from the church from that one and I actually had never been inside. Yeah. This is the first time I actually visited that church. Yeah, it's absolutely. And I, I like how it looks a lot. It's a beautiful location, so yeah. we're very lucky to to use that. So that is the story of Comastas Amigos. Uh, here we are. It is Tom and Blaze, and we hope that you'll come and see us again on the next installment of Tom and Blaze Make Videos. That's right.